Breaking news of the positive sort for a change, a tentative Yay. deal to prevent a potential economic crisis, a deepening one uh, in any case. Just hours ago, President Biden announced that after intense negotiations, a tentative agreement was reached between railway companies and unions, an agreement that could avert a strike that would have severely affected already fragile supply chains. Ed O'Keefe is following all this news this morning from Alexandria, Virginia for us. Uh, Ed, a lot of items that Americans use every day come on trucks and then trains. Good morning. What do we know about this deal? Good morning, Tony. Nice to start with some encouraging news, and it means that train stations like this one outside Washington will continue operating as normal. Announcement of a tentative deal came after 20 hours of consecutive face-to-face -face talks at the Labor Department in Washington. President Biden announcing the deal earlier this morning, saying in a statement these rail workers will get better pay, improve working conditions and peace of mind around their health care costs all hard-earned. A handful of the dozen railroad unions had been holding out for a better agreement on sick leave. They had until tonight at midnight to reach a deal or cause a nationwide strike that would have affected almost 7,000 trains across the country. We should point out this is a tentative agreement, giving the union several more weeks to make sure the deal's ratified and avoid a national shutdown. But as you mentioned, this averts what could have been a significant supply chain crisis for the already stretched trucking and shipping industries. One industry group warned it could have cost about $2 billion dollars in lost productivity. Nate, good thing we're going to avoid that. Oh, Marty! Marty! Today's a good day to learn your labor secretary's name. His name is Marty Walsh, and he just saved us from a rail strike. A rail strike. Nicely done. Joe Biden was the closer most pro-union president we have had in decades. In decades, everybody. This is all good news today. I mean, almost all of it's good. Uh, but, uh, 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 it, you know, well, it's good news for the president of the United States. It's good news for America, which means it's bad news for the GOP, which means more Hunter Biden stories on Fox. I, this is I, that That's kind of, you know, predictable. I, I, I could just, you know, like, you could set your watch by it. But, uh, you know, listen, it, it, Biden just negotiated. This has been going on. I don't know if you know this or not, but this has been going on for two years, for two years. And Marty Walsh, our labor uh, secretary, went and sat down with the companies and the unions and didn't let anybody leave the table until they hammered out an agreement that was amenable to both sides. And Marty Walsh today said, see, this, this is what you need to know, is that when you have the parties who have been you know, at each other for two years now, uh, but when you have a president who actually gives a damn about the outcome for the union and sits down with unions and uses his leverage for unions against the corporate uh, you know, terrorists, who, by the way, the reason why uh, this was so horrible, the reason why this has been going on for so long is because during the pandemic, so many people were laid off from these jobs and now it's over and they called everybody back. But, oh, too bad. The freight lines had spent all their money on stock buybacks. And then they wanted to punish the workers for the fact that they never invested in anything that was tangible, like healthcare or workplace conditions or any of those things, right? Now, if Donald Trump were president, I mean, here, here, here's the scenario, okay? This is the compare and contrast. So you have Joe Biden who literally showed up at the table and held the companies at the table with the unions until an agreement was reached on everything from a 24% pay raise. Yes, 24% pay raise. Some of it will be retroactive, some of it will happen this year, and some of it will happen next year, but it will equal 24% of a pay raise for these workers. 